What's going on? Cole Connor here. Today I want to talk about the two things I'm actually using the infamous Chat GPT for as a YouTube content creator. Let's get into it. What's going on? My name is Cole Connor. I'm an artist and entrepreneur, and I was put here to do two things create and inspire. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, you're probably living under a rock. If you kind of heard of it, but you still don't really know, it's an open language model developed by OpenAI. What that means is it's pretty much artificial intelligence where you can type in anything you want, like Google kind of, and it will send you responses back. It's pretty interesting how it works. To read exactly what it is from itself, it is one of the largest language models ever created, trained on a massive corpus of text data from the internet. Pretty wild. It's taken the world by storm recently. I'm not sure why all of a sudden it started going crazy, but it did. Everybody's talking about it. So I had to look into it and see if there was a way that I could use it and somehow help my workflow. This leads me to the first way that I'm using ChatGPT. I'm copying my YouTube transcripts, pasting it into ChatGPT, and asking it to turn it into a blog post. I used to write out all my scripts beforehand, but it got to be where it was very time consuming and I was having trouble being able to post weekly videos and write it all out and make it all make sense in my head in written form beforehand. I still prefer to do it that way, but when time is of the essence, like this video here, I just have some notes laid out. I've thought about what and how I want this to go in my head. I edit it and then I don't have to type up this long blog post and read it word for word. The video just kind of gets to come out naturally, which is kind of different and cool. I do always have an outline though. Don't try to do YouTube videos without at least an outline because you will talk circles around yourself. But I take the YouTube transcript, I go into ChatGPT, ask it to turn into a blog post. And then what's cool is that you can regenerate it a couple different times. You can ask it to edit it, etc., things like that. What I've started to do is take what chat GPT gives me. I put it into my blog post on my website, coleconnor.com, and I edit it a little bit, make it kind of make sense. And then I say written by chat GPT from the transcript in my YouTube video. So that way people understand if it sounds a little off, it's because it was written by chat GPT and it's not perfect, but it allows me to post up my blog post, keep my website constantly fresh uh, without just posting one or two sentences like I was doing for a little while on what my YouTube video was about. People can actually get a real general blog post it doesn't always give the specifics, but it does enough to where I'm impressed. The second thing that I'm doing with ChatGPT is before I post the video, I'm asking it questions about what I'm going to make a video on. What I found really interesting about this is that sometimes I miss things and ChatGPT sparks something in my mind and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great point. So I don't always take directly or exactly what it says, but I use it as inspiration and it could lead down a whole nother tangent, something that I just didn't think about before and ChatGPT did. For example, when I asked ChatGPT, what can it do for content creators? It tells me these four things. Text generation. You can use it to generate written content such as blog posts, articles, social media posts, etc., which is I'm saying pretty much what I've done. It can be used to generate ideas, proofreading, editing. I haven't used it for that yet. I really, I I use Grammarly, so I don't feel like I really need to, but could, and you can create chatbots with it, it says. What's kind of cool about it is it always gives something at the end that's kind of like, but do your own research. Like don't don't take exactly what I say, is kind of what it's telling us, which is interesting. It says, keep in mind that OpenAI's GPT-3 is still a tool and the quality of the output depends on the quality of the input you provide. Content creators will still need to edit, refine, and fact check the output generated. I think that's very important. I think I've seen a lot of people just saying how you can make money with chat GPT and use chat GPT. GPT for this and get paid for blog posts and then just get chat GPT to write it. I don't think you should do that. I think there's still an obvious quality difference. I think we all should use chat GPT as a tool for helping us make our own creative content better and hopefully kind of as a resource for researching, a resource and tool for doing things faster and being more productive. Yeah. It's, it's helped me in that way. And maybe the things that I'm doing could help you as well. I'm very interested to see where it goes next and where it goes from here. I do, like if you think about as a kid in high school, you can now use this to like write essays. I've seen a lot of people talking about that. Uh, cheating, is that even gonna be a thing anymore? Because you can just have programs like this write it. I don't know, but I do know that when I write something and when this writes something, it's different and I have to put on my creative touch or you can look at some of the examples on my website. You can see that it kind of sounds like a robot. 
kind of sounds generic. It makes it sound more personal that I'm using the transcript for my YouTube videos instead of actually just telling it what my video is about in like a sentence and asking it to write it. I'm giving it all the information and having it condense it. I think that makes it a little more personalized, but it's hard to tell. I was listening to the Lex Friedman podcast and he had an episode where he was talking about it and supposedly, I guess it would be chat GPT-4 is in the works and that one is supposedly like mind blowing. I don't know, but I do know that as I grow, as we get older, as time goes on, there's always gonna be more tools and things that we can use to help us as content creators, business owners, entrepreneurs. I think ChatGPT is one of those things. You just have to find out how it helps and works for you. That's all I got. I'll put a link to it in the description if you haven't seen it before and you just wanna check it out. It's pretty cool. Highly recommend you at least just check it out. My name is Cole Connor. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll catch y'all next yeah. time. Yeah. Every day I wake up with a vision Cooking in the kitchen, ain't no fucking in a mission Like yo, shaking up your city with my bitchin' Sold in the building and a motherfucker fizzin' Like whoa, cold won't stop till you get that gold Cold won't stop till you sing my song